Alright guys, Jenny's going to tell you what we're doing today. She's been so excited about this project. Something we need to do to protect all this wood. We're going to take this metal here, put it on this side because this is where the wind comes from a lot in the winter. And this whole lean-to would be full of snow if we don't do it. Yeah, so that wouldn't be any good. <laughs> now that we got the front of the barn done with the metal that we needed, we have this extra metal and we can use it for boxing in the lean-to. Halfway across the board. Mm -hmm. This one is like over, like. Oh, we can cut that off with the saw. Go. Okay. All right. Perfect. These taller ones will be okay for here. Should be. Okay. Oh, it's upside down. It is? No. Adventurous. No, well, that's perfect. I'll just put it down and then cut it or bend it, one or the other. Puppies, can you get through here still? Go see that. Here, see that. Come here. Can you get through here? Go see that. Timber. There. Come here. Oh, see. Now we still got a hole. We don't have to go around the wood pile. <laughs> careful around all the metal, boys. Be careful around all the metal. 
used most no we used most of the wood we got one piece left and one big piece that's it so we did good we got lots of metal used up let's and pin we protected all yeah. of our woods so yeah. we can use it for this winter yeah we got lots of projects to use it for cool this looks really nice now in here this looks really good guys it everything huh Said yeah. it up protects everything jenny had a good idea that's why she wanted to do it all the last two months she's been worried about it but she was right you guys hear that it's on camera now it's only the second time in 13 years i've admitted that she's right on camera <laughs> i was I, right about the mud room too you didn't want to do the mud room that was the other one time uh-huh that was the and other one and i was time. right about the clear plastic there and uh, 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 i was right about building a bedroom uh, <laughs> How are you remembering all this stuff? Normally you can't remember all the things you were right about. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's get rolling, guys. We'll get this last one in. Then we'll maybe throw a tarp up on the back of this. Come here, do you wanna give mama a hug? Come here, oh, it's such a good puppy, huh? Oh, your bread is coming to eat you. Two pieces of wood, four footer and five footer, and screw them in and be done. All right, guys, I decided to set up our new Ben Q projector. This way, we don't have to have a TV here at the cabin and takes up space on the walls. Chill here and watch some TV tonight. I'm gonna get the set up so that way when Jay comes back, we, need some, we can eat some dinner and then sit down and watch it. All right, guys, we have been using the BenQ 100A for about a month now, and I love it. This was so easy for me to set up. It took me less than five minutes. I like things that are easy to use and easy to set up. I also really like that it had Netflix already preloaded on it. The Nebula didn't have that, so we had to use other sources to watch movies or TV shows. I also really like this the little adjusting stand, because it makes it so much easier to adjust the level where I need it to be to watch my favorite shows. The Nebula's little lever thing was a little bit harder to move and adjust, so I really like this little stand. It's also really light, it's 6.3 pounds instead of the 9.9 .9 pounds that the Nebula is. So that's a nice little difference, right? If you're carrying something around, the lighter the better. And I really like the eye protection it has here. If you like walk in front of it, it has a screen protection like you see on the screen. That way you're not blinding yourself. All right, guys, now that Jen has told you some of the qualities that she likes of the BenQ, I'd like to do a little side-by-side -side comparison. We've thrown the BenQ on the left and the Nebula Mars 3 on the right. Both units have 1080p high-quality video imaging, but we have found the Nebula Mars 3 has a more vibrant color while the BenQ is more lifelike and realistic, as you would see it with the naked eye. We also really like the sound and speakers of the BenQ. The 10 watt subwoofer really gave you a good surround sound like feel. Here's an example of the two units uh, playing the same music. First being the BenQ, second being the Nebula.
So Jen and I both agree with BenQ's quality imaging, easy setup, powerful sound, and its ability to easily stream content in any room of your home, cabin, or while camping with the family. It's a great option for your entertainment needs. So check out the links in the description box below in the first pinned comment to get your own. All right, guys. Today's project is filling in the gable end. With the clear plastic, that way we get some natural light in there, because yeah. otherwise it's just a dark box. Otherwise we're turning on lights all the time and just to go in and out, which isn't fun or necessary. So basically what it's gonna do is look like this, which you can work with this, right? Yeah. So you can still see in the pole barn when the door is up and the gable end is open. So if we put the clear plastic on it, we'll still be able to see in the barn without turning lights on just mm -hmm. to come in here and grab something real quick. So yeah. let's, uh, let's get rolling. Should be a pretty easy job, right? <laughs> Right, guys slowly but surely <laughs> uh, I thought this whole job was gonna take like two hours but it's been over two hours and I just got the flashing up so I had to be kind of try to be a little careful with it I flashed over my oak log and then on top of each wall and I painted it white because it was galvanized and feel like running a town and getting white or gray and have any so so it matches the barn i didn't want you know steel flashy metal steel sticking out it kind of i'd used a piece of galvanized steel on the covered front porch and it shows on all our drone footage and stuff <laughs> and it, it bothers me if i don't nobody else probably notices it but it drives me nuts but anyway uh yeah i'm gonna start the plastic now Jen's got about half hour to an hour before she's gonna go hunting. And I'm giving up on hunting for a little while because I have stuff to do. So, all right, let's get the metal. Or let's get the plastic up. You're underneath it. The dork? You're the dork. No, I knew what I was doing. You're telling me you have to do it the way I know I'm doing it. Always turn the truck going that way. Let's see how good my guessing did. <laughs> I will clean up all these little plastic scraps. Oh, hi, still. Didn't cut off enough. This works. There we go. All right, that don't work. Quit.
All right, guys, you can tell, I can tell, that I'm starting to get a little wore out here. <laughs> Been working at this for almost eight hours, and uh, well, we did another project this morning too. So this is the second half of the day project, but I've been out in the cold for eight hours, nine hours. I haven't really taken a break either. So I forgot to turn the camera on for the, these last couple panels on this side. Sorry about that. It was beautiful too, like the sun's going down. So before I ruin the rest of the evening, I'm gonna try to get that side done. It's like three more pieces, I think. I'm just, I'm pooped, but I'd like to get this done so I can say I'm done with it. So let's try to get it done. I'll give it 20 more minutes, hopefully, 20, 30 minutes. Alright guys, I'm done. Jenny's hunting and let her have the last half hour of peace and quiet. And I'm pooped. Like I can't, I keep dropping stuff and cutting stuff wrong. And I know when it's time to quit. Half hour was a, the time to quit half hour ago. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna probably go get a beverage and sit out here. And enjoy the peace and quiet. Even though I'm cold, I just want to be outside so so nice out <laughs> it's like cold but it's just quiet and calm so all right i'm gonna clean up i'll catch you over by the deck all right guys look how beautiful it is if you guys can't see this with the gopro i'm gonna be very sad but it's like dark purple and reds it's like so pretty and over here insane so nice so pretty 